Here's a look at a different kind of circumference question. OK, again, let's just revise. Circumference is equal to pi d. Now, in this example that I'm going to illustrate for you, um, this is my example <laughs> or my poor interpretation of a Formula One car. But that's not the important thing. Let's read what it says here. The diameter of a wheel, there's the wheel, there's the wheel, is 80 centimeters. So the diameter is 80 centimeters. The wheel completes 25 complete revolutions. Revolutions means one turn, two turns, or one revolution, two revolutions, three revolutions. Okay, it completes 25 complete revolutions. So how far did this wheel travel in total? Okay, so again, using my formula, and in this instance, again, we go to 3.14, which I'm using as pi. Okay, always, as suggested in earlier videos, write out the formula each time. Okay, so the circumference, pi, is 3.14. The diameter is 80. Not dealing with 25 at all yet. The diameter is 80. Pi is 3.14. So let's work that out. Okay. 3.14 times 80. And that gives me 251.2. That's with this calculator. And do remember, sometimes other calculators will give you more digits after the decimal. But in this instance, we've got 251.2, okay? So that is my circumference, okay, of the wheel. That's not my complete answer, though, because they want to know how far did it travel after 25 complete revolutions, okay? So that amount must still be multiplied by Yes, by 25 before we reach our final answer. So I've still got it on my calculator. 251.2 times that by 25. And that gives me 6,280. 6,280 centimeters in total. So the diameter of the wheel was 80. We first had to times it by 3.14 and then by the 25 complete revolutions before we reached our final answer.